Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Habitual Wine Crosser, and that is Knox whining in the background. You see him right there over my over my left shoulder. He's just I think he I think he had a beerp. Is that a beerp? Knox the dog. Hey bud, you wanna come say hi? You wanna come say hi? Because we're about to tear some fucking douchebag apart who knows nothing about Iron Dome. You know what's interesting is when Patriot went over to uh, Ukraine, everyone was a Patriot expert. When uh, the Israel-Hamas thing popped off, everyone was a fucking geopolitical expert. And now, now that Iron Dome is in question, everyone's an Iron Dome expert. So isn't that great, Knox? Isn't that great? You want me to talk about it? You want me to tell everybody how they're so wrong? Because you have no idea what they're talking about? Because Dad's a big, bad air defender. Okay, come on, bud. Hop off. By the way, I would never in a million years refer to myself as a big, bad air defender. But okay, so I was sent this video. We're going to kind of jump around a little bit in the video just because it's it's awful. It's it's terrible. Um, first off, there's a, a woman in the bottom left corner. Uh, let's call her Karen McCarrenson. I have no idea what her name is. Hmm... Let's think about this. Hmm, he's got some points. Hmm, she's sitting there in her sweater vest after she, or her sweater, after she done put down her kid Aiden, Caden, Brayden, or Zayden, and she got done drinking her fucking spice chai bullshit. Yeah, by the way, you're not inventive. Everyone has a fucking kid nowadays that ends in din, except for like maybe Aladdin. That might be a new one, but uh, you know, Aiden, Caden, Brayden, Zayden, Jaden, any of those fucking things, they're not, they're not inventive anymore, Karen McCarrenson. You're not special. He's not going to be a special flower. No, you're probably, never mind. I hate you so much already. I, I've watched this video in its entirety and all i want to do is hate you but let's go ahead and get into it shall we so i did a video previously it was on whether the hamas missiles are actually oh god israel's iron dome i love why i don't know why we put it in in fucking quotes but uh, uh they're not ex intercepting rockets they're just exploding in the air says the guy who's never heard of the proximity fuse okay let's fucking okay we're gonna scoot forward hey there viewer do you support the troops well, I do make sure that they get their uh, their day every year at Applebee's. Yeah, why? What's up? Well, then why haven't you went and bought yourself some Aerial Resupply coffee? I, I thought it was for vets only. Why would you think something so fucking stupid? Okay, like, uh, don't attack me here. It's got military-style flavors like Moab, Spectre, and of course our friend here, Firewatch. Uh, didn't you say in one of your last videos that, that Moab was, was pretty potent stuff? If you aren't perpetually on the edge of shitting your pants, is it even real coffee? I, I, I don't know what my answer is going to look like. Well, the link in the description of this video will go ahead and get you 10% off your area resupply order. Try the coffee. Don't be a bitch. All right, I'm going to get me some. Don't forget they also have Spring Kitty, Christmas Kitty, and Pumpkin Kitty. How, how is that military related? Because a military veteran owns the company, and all the artwork for those ones are drawn by his kids. Do you hate kids? I believe I'm I'm in a bit of an awkward situation right here because if I say yes, it makes me look bad. But if I if I say no, I feel like it also makes me look bad. Then why are we still talking? Get you some aerial resupply coffee today. Uh, the first thing he references is this fucking article. In fact, it's basically just rockets that shoot up in the air and then explode. They don't actually hit any. They don't intercept anything. I love. So this is the thing that 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 article right there. The Middle Eastern Monitor is the only article I can find. And I went to page two of Google. And you like never go to page two of Google, right? That says Iron Dome is a hoax. I went to Middle Eastern Middle East Monitor. All of those videos, articles, everything in there are pro-Palestine and anti-Israel. Every single one in there. Every single fucking one. Now, in that article, he, he makes reference to some doctor, doctor something or other, right? Uh, we actually, I have it pulled up. I don't know why I said doctor something other, other, other. I should just fucking go ahead and have it pulled up. I actually had to, when I typed in the name of the article, Israeli expert says Iron Dome defense is a hoax. All I found was like the first page was how Iron Dome works with the exception of one TikTok video, which was this TikTok video that Google searched for. Everything else was how it works. I literally had to type in Middle East monitor to find this article. Uh, apparently he's a scientist and award-winning security expert. That's how they always start. Like if they're like, look at these credentials of this person who doesn't matter. This scientist, Dr. Mahdi Shafir. I want to look this guy up. I want to look him up. I want to see what he's a doctor of. Okay. So, um, this guy's obviously super credible. First one is a Facebook page called against Zionism. 
So he's definitely unbiased there. Next one is the Middle East Monitor, the article we just looked up. Next one is Twitter, Ignorance, the Root and Stem of All Evil, where he talks about, again, that we can't intercept guided missiles. Next one is a Reddit, and we all know the quality of Reddit there. Israel Expert says Iron Dome Defense is a hoax. World News, Mahdi Shafir. Iron Hoax, Fakeologist.com. Yep. Doesn't say what he's a doctor of, because I know a certain doctor who works in air and missile defense who would crush you. Because this doctor also crushes me. Honestly, every time he talks, I have to I have to wait for a translation because I don't understand three quarters of what comes out of his goddamn mouth. No, the, the intercept dynamics based off of the, the areas of lethality uh, and the fucking Coriolis effect in, in coordination with ducting uh, creates both. And I'm like, what the fuck? I, sir, I can't even, can you stop for like 30 seconds? And if you guys know what doctor I'm talking about, like if you've worked with me before, you'll know what doctor I'm talking about. You're like, yeah, no, he's he's really like that. He's a very nice guy. Super nice guy. Very, very nice dude. Pretty much uh, uh, Dr. Mahdi Shafir in here is explaining that no one can ever engage guided missiles. I'm kind of from the country that invented it. And I kind of work in that field. But anyways, um, no, no. Uh, 1989, 88. The first ever guided missile intercept was U.S. Patriot in Saudi Arabia after Iraq threw uh, missiles, uh, uh, scuds, into Saudi Arabia. And U.S. Patriot shot them down. U.S. Patriot has been steadily shooting down missiles. U.S. Thad has been steadily shooting down, well, uh, shot down one. Thad is the most effective air defense system in the world. It has had one shot and one kill in January of 2022. I believe it was January 25th, 24th, maybe, 2022. It's the only missile ever fired by the thad system and it had a direct hit on what it was uh, intercepting as the video continues to progress the individual talks about how how these missiles or rockets coming out of hamas are smoke bombs that's all they are there's smoke bombs so he actually has a video of it and i want to see it i want to see it it's right around here somewhere because if they claim that there's so many hundreds of missiles being fired there should be some images of buildings that got blown up there should be images of missiles that are exploding and causing actual damage. The videos we see, if you do a search, it looks like a smoke bomb. And this gas station video... It looks like a smoke bomb. Because I have no idea what I'm talking about when I look at ordnance. So he compared right there a short-range, hand-carryable, maybe 10-pound rocket that was completely out of fuel. Probably has about 3 pounds of explosive on board. With a fucking JDAM crater. That's what you saw. That crater was... Probably a 500 pounder timer fuse, not an impact fuse. Timer fuse meaning that it it just, until that timer goes off, it will not explode. It can hit anything in the fucking world. And until that timer goes, bing, it won't do anything. Which means timer fuse oftentimes goes into the ground, creates a huge fucking crater. Pressure fuse, or fucking impact fuse, like that little short rocket right there. That rocket has two or three times the power of an M67 high explosive grenade. Now people might be like, whoa, grenade's pretty dangerous three to five meter blast radius that's all a grenade has right and a grenade looks almost identical to that almost identical to that see this guy is going off of his premise his his wealth of experience of what a rocket impacting should look like based on what he's seen in hollywood fucking movies that is not a smoke bomb that is not smoke bombs are very very different from that that is an explosion based on impact. Now, if you continue in the video, you see that, oh, he's like, the ground. The ground is not touched. It's because it's a light explosive, not on a timer fuse, above the ground. If that thing had been on a time fuse, it would have stuck into the ground and then created a crater. But because it was impact fuse, it didn't. Science and explosives. Now, there are some times where it doesn't have to do that and it's kind of negligible. And I think that's usually probably, and the EOD guys in the comment section are going to correct me. It's anywhere top side of, I'd say, 30, 40 pounds. Give or take. 30, 40 pounds of explosives on top of concrete. You're probably going to take out a chunk of that concrete. Less than 10 pounds of explosive, unless we're talking like high explosive, like C4. But if we're talking like Composition B or TNT or something like that, probably two, three pounds not really going to cause a whole lot. I mean, there you know, there will be physical damage, but you're going to have to really look close. So let's continue to look at what he said there. It's a good example. This is a this is one of the few proof of Hamas mi missiles we actually see. And notice how it creates an enormous smoke bomb. 
and there isn't any damage to the asphalt. That is a pretty shitty bomb. There isn't any damage to the asphalt. See, but this guy didn't go there and check what is in all of the barriers and maybe that tree that was right next to it or maybe those cars over there. Is there chunks of metal stuck into those? Like a fragmentation rocket would do? That is how an explosive looks. There's not a big ball of fire and it looks super fucking cool. That's how an explosive looks in the daytime, in the desert. These are IRAMs, improvised rocket and mortars coming from Hamas. These are not multi-million dollar fucking strategic weapons. You fucking ass clown. Gotta be a smoke bomb. Stand there. Stand there. Let Hamas throw one of those. Stand there. I bet you, I bet you it'll fucking kill you. I bet. I bet. You look further and the Iron Dome system, what it does, it doesn't actually, you never see the Hamas mi missiles. You never see the Hamas rockets. You only see the Iron Dome rockets. No, oh, I can't believe, I can't believe in 2023, the end of 2023, it's fucking October. And I'm still having this argument with idiots. You never see it intercept something that that's coming at it yeah because you're not a radar okay i'm gonna say this nice and slow for karen mccarran face and fuck face mcshit face god i i just oh god i hate him so much I, you know what fuck it hold on hold on hello students mr line crosser here and today we're going to learn about how ballistic projectiles are not really able to be seen with the naked eye in their terminal phase. Remember, the phases of flight are launch, boost, apogee, separation, and terminal. I probably didn't do that right with my hand, but it's gonna look real good in the final cut, right? So launch, boost, apogee, separation, and terminal. Elbast for short. All right, so air defense systems get things in their terminal phase of flight. The Iron Dome specifies in short range rockets and artillery that is what it focuses on now i have a pop quiz question here for you kids does artillery continue to be powered during its flight the answer is no because it's artillery so would it have a smoke trail if it's not powered no it would not have a fucking smoke trail so that answers one part of the question here the second part of the question what about rockets does anyone have the question or have the answer do rockets have a smoke trail in their terminal phase of flight because they're still providing thrust to that object the answer is no. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, students. You're all going to get 100% on this fucking class. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Line Crosser. And what I want to get to is he's absolutely right. This goes for ballistic missiles, anything that flies a ballistic or lobbed trajectory. It runs out of fuel at its apogee. Same thing goes for these rockets. Same thing, American HIMARS doesn't throttle all the way to the ground. It's not being providing provided thrust in its terminal phase of flight. It is out of fuel. That is the way these short range rockets work. So they're powered and they take off, right? They get up there, the boost phase. So this, I'm, I'm really comparing these short range rockets to ballistic missiles and I shouldn't be doing that. It's more just like launch apogee terminal. Like that's how it is for short range unguided rockets. But they're, they go up, right? And because they're, they're dumb rockets, they're not smart missiles, they're dumb rockets. They don't know how to thrust vector. They don't know how to fucking use attitude adjusters. They just, they go until they run out of fuel, right? They, and then they run out and they go, and they start coming down because all the weights in the front and all the rocket fuel that was in the back is now gone, right? So then they kind of, they tilt down and they just, they're just falling. They're just falling, but they're falling really, really fast, right? They're, they're, they're but they, they have no more fuel. So there's not a smoke trail. So there's no glowy shit behind them because they're out of fuel. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? So then that happens. Iron Dome detects them because radar better than human eyeball. And it goes, hey, Iron Dome, go up there and fuck these things up. And they go, and they go up there and they go, and they explode on them because they're proximity fuses. That's how Iron Dome works. It's a proximity fuse. But Patriot has kinetic and proximity. S400 has kinetic and proximity. But to completely, this whole video, I'm not even gonna tag the original video because it's, the guy doesn't trust anybody. He's like, Hamas fires smoke bombs. Iron Dome doesn't intercept them. Hamas rockets aren't real. And it's like, wait, what? How do we get here? How, how the fuck do we get here? And then, then he like continues on and he's like, Israel made Hamas a thing. And it's like, what? Where? Whoa, hey, how do we? His whole train of thought. This is like Westboro Baptist Church train of thought. It's fucking awful, right? Okay. So, 
proximity fuse. This is how they work. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. We're gonna cut to a video of Patriot using its Pack 2 proximity fuse. Roll the clip. Holy shit. That air defender guy with the bald head and the giant wiener. I'm sorry, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I can't even lie about that, man. Uh, <laughs> he was right about that. Yes, that's how proximity fuses work. Not to be confused with the kinetic. Kinetic? Okay. Look, I'm going to explain this to you the way that I had a CW3 explain this. And he said this in front of my entire battalion... And I have no idea how this man still had a job afterwards, but I can't really think of a better way to explain it, okay? Kinetic kill. Tip to tip. Okay? One rips through the other. Tip to tip. That's how kinetic kill works. Proximity kill. It's like some of y'all when you were younger. Tip to explosion. I'm just watching my career disappear. Uh, anyways, so tip to explosion. That's proximity kill. Iron Dome is a proximity kill warhead. So you don't see the rocket coming towards the Iron Dome because it's no longer powered and doesn't have a smoke trail. You think it's just going up and exploding because it's exploding and ripping through that object that is coming down. You think that it's a smoke bomb hitting the ground from Hamas because you're an idiot and you have no idea what an explosion actually looks like. We're not going to see this video. We're not going to see this article. It's not going to hurt me anymore. It's not going to hurt you anymore. It's just going to be dead to us. I think that's about it. Yeah. All right. As always, do not give in to the 22 a day. Every single one of you are amazing, and I will see you guys right here next time. Play me out.